in our district because we were looking for a measurable way to determine what our teachers felt like they knew and what they wanted to know and we wanted to have that in a quantifiable way. Weed Assist was the perfect way for us to do that uh, because it allowed for our teachers to give feedback at the end of the school year each year uh, to give us um, an idea as to where they were in their learning about supporting multilingual learners. Uh, so Weed Assist has helped us and our schools in many ways. If I look at the data dating back to 2020, um, our schools were kind of a sea of red um, as it relates to the Weed Assist average. There were a lot of areas in which teachers identified as being areas of growth. And there were areas of a little bit more confidence, but really over the years we have shifted in our understanding and our knowledge in each of the four domains and then also specifically in the subdomains uh, that we've been working on. So Weed Assist has been really helpful in targeting our thinking, uh, targeting our planning, and making sure that we know what to focus in on for the school year. Um, and the CARES team has been fabulous in helping us kind of process and analyze that data. Uh, and determine what kind of scaffolds our teachers need in order to be successful with our students. We are now at the point where we are seeing more light green and dark green than we are uh, red. So we're actually looking at you know those numbers and deciding, okay, so even within our light green areas or our dark green areas, where are the areas that are still needing uh, specific attention? I'm really excited to report that the area that our district uh, overall is really showing that they want the support is in identifying what the individual student needs. Uh, so we've gone from trying to understand big picture, you know, like, well, who are L's or what are multilingual learners? Are they the same? Are they different? Um, you know, what supports could be put into place? Now we're moving into the individual where we're saying the student in front of me, who is this student? What do they need and what's the appropriate scaffold to to ensure that the student has what it is that they need um, and in my mind that is such wonderful success because we're we're moving away from what is it and we're moving into and how do we do it for the the students who are in front of me in this moment i can't say enough great things about the wiseups care coaching teams Everyone we have worked with has been uh, helpful, professional, super, super knowledgeable, really well connected. So if they didn't feel like they were the expert in, a, you know, for a specific question or a specific concern, they would connect us uh, with people who were. We have utilized YSEPs care coaching in relation to our program evaluation, in relation to uh, working in uh, individually with our building administrators. We have care coaching as part of uh, looking into our WIDA SIS analysis, and we have had some professional learning uh, both for our teams and then uh, for our teachers. So. You know, we're always looking at the menu of services to see <laughs> what other great things we could take advantage of because we've really grown as a district in, um, in being with professionals who just really know their stuff. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm.